What's up guys, welcome to this video tutorial by The Coder. Okay, so today I want to talk about how you can draw power to your PCI Express graphics card without a PCI Express um, 6 pin adapter. Okay, so the PCI Express 6 pin adapter looks a little something like this. We've got two standard 4 pin Molex connectors and that goes into a 6 pin Molex adapter, a uh, 6 pin PCI Express adapter. Um, and the 6 pin plugs into your graphics card just there. Um, and the reason for this is because a PCI Express port on a motherboard can only draw 150 watts of power. Um, in some cases, your graphics card might need more than that. So to compensate for this, you have to get power from an external source. Now, a Molex 2 PCI Express adapter will give you an extra 75 watts of power so you can run a more powerful graphics card. Um, okay, so I brought this um, GeForce GTX 660 graphics card the other day and then realised my existing power supply doesn't have the adapter. So um, by the time I realised, by the time I got home, it was too late to go out and buy an adapter. Um, so to so I could use my computer the same day because my existing graphics card was no good. Um, I had to compromise. Um, I did go out and buy the adapter, and I'm waiting for a new 750 watt power pack to come to come for, off eBay. Um, but I did have to compromise so I could use my computer for that night um, because I don't watch normal TV, and the computer is my only source of entertainment. So to compromise, I made my own adapter. Now. For this little trick, um, and I must warn you now that it's not completely safe, only use this as a temporary measure and do so at your own risk. Um, I won't take any responsibility for damage caused to your motherboard, graphics card uh, or anything else. So this is completely at your own risk. So for this trick, um, you will need a Molex adapter and it's the female Molex, Molex adapter that you need which is one of these, where you just plug it into a normal Molex 4 pin connector um, and you will also need 6 wires. Now the wires I'm using are these wires here which have already got the Molex connectors on um, where we can join them up to the Molex um, adapter, Molex housing um, and also connect them to the graphics card. Now these cables have been taken off a 40 power, 40 power pack. Um, we had a Molex splitter, so it went from two to from one to two Molex. Um, and the one side was male, and the other side was female. So uh, we've taken these wires, and it's purely for, for simplicity. We don't have to solder any wires or anything like that. So try and get those ones if you can. They were already joined together. Um, but if not, you can always just join the two together. But Preferably, you will need to have these pins on the end of them. Okay, so I'll just show you a bit more on the graphics card. So we've got the six pin connector here. And essentially these connectors are three ground and three live, or um, three ground and two live. So the top of the adapter is usually the ground. But do try and get a wiring diagram before you do this, um, but essentially it's just three ground and three live. Um, I know this is going to work off two live and three ground, um, as you'll see from this adapter here. We've got the two live, which are yellows, and we've got the three black ones, which are ground. Um, you can't see it very well, but there is there are three live wires, but two of them go into one pin, and the middle pin is just kept completely empty. So you might you may see that separation there, and the middle pin on the live is completely blank. Uh, there's actually nothing going to that at all. So we're going to use two live and three ground. Now, as I said, the ground go that go at the top where the middle goes in, and the lives go on the bottom. So. You're going to need your female Molex adapter and your six wires. 
Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to get the two wires, and for this we're going to use the red and black, um, and we're going to use these for the ground. So we're going to place the ground on the two middles, the two middle pins we're going to use for the ground because they're the ground ones on the on the power supply. So we're just going to pop them in there like that. And you do need to try and lock these in place. But for now we're just going to put them in loosely. So there's the two ground. And the live is going to go on the... The 12 volt live is going to go on the left hand side. If we can slot it in, there we go. So it's going to go... On the left hand side just like that so as you can see there it's backwards on here but we do need to ensure that we match these up so as you can see by the rounded corners they are matched up and we've got the yellow for the live yellow for live and then we've got a black ground in the middle which we are using a red cable for so black in the middle and black directly next to it which is another ground cable and if you look on the other adapter you see you've got the live and the two grounds so they match up perfectly now unfortunately we can't make one of these connectors unless we've got a spare broken one lying around somewhere somewhere so all we do to rectify this and this is why i say you need the ones the cables with the pins on what we're going to do to rectify this is we're just going to push the pins inside the cable so the live wires we need to put on the bottom pins and i'll just try and get this on the camera And we just slot them in place like that. So we're going to slot them onto the actual onto the actual pins, and make a connection. So we're just going to slot the pins in like that. So we slot the well, they're actually the wrong ones. We're going to use the live. We're going to slot the live in, and then so the live are connected just like that. Um, slotted into place they make a connection and the same with the grounds now before we do that we do need to insulate the cables to ensure that the grounds don't touch the live because you will get a pretty low bang and it will completely fry your graphics card so what we do for this is we take some standard insulation tape um, electrical tape and we're going to cover the outer edges of all the pins Okay, so we'll just find the end here. And I'll just show you what I mean by cover the edge of the pins. Okay, so we take a bit of tape and we'll do it with the live first. And starting at the very end, And we don't want to cover the middle hole because we need to slot that into the, onto the pin on the graphics card. So we just completely insulate the metal contacts on the wire so there's no metal showing at all. And as you can see, it's completely covered the metal pin with the hole in the middle still available to slot into the graphics card. And we're going to do that with all six wires. Okay guys, so I did pause the video to do this um, because it would, have been a, it would have been running on a little bit too long. But 
essentially this is all you need to do um, just cover all six contacts to ensure that none of them short circuit and touch each other um, we don't want to cause any unnecessary fires um, and I must warn you again this could cause a fire if these contacts if the live and the ground were to touch each other it could cause a fire it could render your graphics card or even your motherboard completely useless and it could also blow your um, home electrics so ensure that these are well covered um, and again just leave the middle pins um, available so we can push them into the graphics card now this this is now complete um, or this part of it anyway <coughs> Um, now what you want to do, what you might want to do is just tape up a few of these wires around about in the middle just for cable management, stop them getting messy, um, stop them pulling each other out and things like that. Um, we're going to skip that step for now because as I say we've managed to pick one of these up now. Um, and this we paid, uh, I think it was £4.89 in Maplins. Um, so it's a pretty decent bargain and even after the new power pack comes it's always available as a good spare. So... Um, around about just under five pounds, you can pick one of these up from a local hardware, uh, local electrical, or computer store. <coughs> um, so I do recommend getting one of these as soon as possible. This is, of course, just a temporary solution until you get you can get down to your local computer store and get one that's fit for purpose. Okay, so next, what we need to do is connect the graphics card up inside the computer and connect these wires to the graphics card. Okay guys, so now I have the graphics card installed and um, all screwed in tightly, we can get to connecting this cable up. Alright, so the first thing you're going to want to do, and I'm going to need to put the camera down a sec for this, is just connect up this cable to your power supply. Okay, so now that's done, we have the connector connected up to the power supply, um, and again, it has to be a female connector, so as you can plug into one of these four pin um, connectors. And now we're just left with the six wires. So what we want to do is we want to ensure, first of all, that we are connecting the correct cables to the correct pins on the graphics card. So we, as you can see, we've got the live, we've got the live connectors matched up. Um, you see the yellow cable here. That's the 12 volt live, and that connects to these two yellow cables here. And secondly, we've got two ground cables, the two middle ones, and they connect to these four cables here. So we're going to connect the live cables first. So we're just going to plug these in to the pins and stick them directly on the pins. One on the right, one on the left. <coughs> and if you are sure that your middle one is used for a live um 12 volts the volt then you can connect the third one up as well if you wish and the second one the second part is to connect up the grounds so we're just going to push these directly on again and these are completely insulated so they've got no chance of touching each other so that's one that's two and then one of these four ground cables three okay so this fourth one you might want to just completely cap off so there's no chance of any short circuit so to do that all you need to do is just cover the middle of it and um, we're not we're just going to do it rough for now we're just going to do it like that so there's no chance of a short circuit and that, that ensures that the middle of the pin doesn't touch any metal <coughs> okay so once that's complete, you can go ahead and power up your computer and it should start to work. We're going to take our HDMI cable and just plug it in the back of the graphics card, if I can get the right angle. Okay, so I'll just lift that up so you can see that's in the back of the graphics card there. And now we're going to go ahead and power this machine on. Okay. And we'll turn it on. No smoke. And there we have power output. 
so we're just going to boot into Windows here. But as you might hear, the fans on the GPU are working. So there you see it's working fine. And there we go. Okay, next we're going to get some internet. Fire up a game. That one will do. I'll just move that out of the way. And as you can see from the top corner, sixty frames per second. So it's running all right. We'll go to custom games. And just follow up a game so you can see the responsiveness of the graphics. And bear in mind that we are using a 300 watt power pack here with four hard drives connected. So we've got two solid state drives connected and we've also got two um, 3.5 inch hard drives connected. So we are pretty much utilising all power on the game here. Still on 60 frames per second. It will drop a little bit while it's um, loading this game, uh, but that's perfectly normal um, for this particular game. Here we go. As you see, we have no lag, and bear in mind on this game, um, we do have things set to high, um, so that's running pretty sweet at 60 frames per second, um, considering we are only using essentially one Molex adapter. I'll just wait for um, a zombie to lock to... jump out at me. Unfortunately I can't play it properly. I can't play it properly because I'm only using one hand. But there you can see it's running sweet. Um, it's staying on 60 frames per second as well so um, it's working exactly as it should. Now as I said this should only be a temporary solution. Um, I wouldn't recommend I wouldn't recommend doing this um, permanently, but uh, you know, whatever, whatever you prefer. Uh, but as you see, that's running absolutely fine, um, no problems at all, um, and there's no smoke coming from the graphics card, so everything's good. Hello, right, guys. I hope this helps at least temporarily with your problems. Um, and thanks for watching, I'll see you all again soon. Alright, bye for now.